Hello, and welcome to Let's Make a Top-Down Shooter. This video is about gameplay ability system attributes. Attributes are used for things like health and shield, damage and fire rate, and just about anything else that has a value that you might want to modify using gas. We're going to start by creating a new C++ class. The base for this class will be attribute set, and we'll call this TDS base set. We'll let the uh, live coding finish for this. With that done, we close the editor wait for it to stop, and then hit reload all. So in the header file here, I'm just going to replace all of this. So the first thing we have here is the handy macro called attribute accessors. We'll use this macro a little later, but what it's doing is making four utility functions based on the class and property name that you give it. To see where this handy macro comes from, you can open up the attribute set, scroll down quite a bit, and you'll see it here. This defines a set of helper functions for accessing and initializing attributes. So you can just copy it from here. If you hold Alt, you can do a block copy. So for this base class, I just wanted to override pre-attribute base change and pre-attribute change for the purpose of calling our custom clamp attribute on change. And what that looks like here is literally that both these functions are just calling their super version and then just calling clamp attribute on change. The intent of clamp attribute on change is when an attribute changes and we want to clamp it within a certain range, like health might go from 0 to max health. So with that done, we can compile, relaunch the editor. Going to create another C++ class. This time we will use our TDS base set. Call this one TDS health set. And like before, we'll wait for the editor to finish. Close that down. Wait for it, hit reload. And in the health set, we need to include a belief system component. We want a constructor in this case, and I'm going to declare for now only health and max health attributes. So the attributes will be exposed to the editor. They are of type F gameplay attribute data, and then we're using the macro to generate the helper functions. So we have health, we have max health. If your game is multiplayer, then you will likely want replicated using and then the name of a function. So in this case, we'll use on rep health and max health. For future attributes, I will leave that out since this project is not going to have anything multiplayer related. And then we're overriding the clamp attribute on change that we just added to the base set. Our constructor is being used to initialize the health and max health to 40 and 60. The clamp attribute on change function, as you can see, we are checking to see that the attribute sent in is the health attribute. And if, if it is, we set the new value, which will be health, to a clamp between 0 and max health. Again, for networking, you need to include net slash unreal network so that you can call get lifetime replicated props 
and use these macros. Lastly, we need to add it to the player state because that is where our ability system component exists. So again, we're creating a variable that is accessible to the editor and it is of type health set that we just created or TDS health set. Uh, we'll just call it health set here. And we also need to create it in the proper file, much like we created the ability sys component. This will be health set equals create default sub object type u tds health set, and it'll be called health set. We also want to include tds health set dot h. That done, we compile. Launch the editor. I'm going to hit play. Click to assign the focus to the uh, the game window. I'm going to hit tilde, up, uh, or back tick, up in the top left. To get the console, type show debug ability system. That'll pop up this information, and you can see that we have a health of 40 and a max health of 60. If you wanted to get rid of this stuff, because it's good to pop up for testing, but then it kind of gets in the way, you can just open the console back up and type show debug none. All right, now I'm going to create a Gameplay effect. So I'll create a folder here called effects. Right click, blueprint class. I want uh, gameplay effect as the base class. This one. I'm just going to call this GE underscore default attributes. Open this up. Now this will just be setting the two attributes that we've built. We're going to add two here. Open both these up. I'm going to set health, max health. I want them both to be override. And then in modifier magnitude, we'll set them both to 100. Hit compile. We're going to go into the third person blueprint. Search for default again. And in default effects, we will add our GE default attributes. Now when I hit play, bring up the console. You can see that health is set to 60 and max health to 100. The reason why health is set to 60 is because the order that the attributes were being set, health was set to 100. That resulted in the clamp attribute on change function to get called. It clamped health between zero and max health, which at the time was 60, and then it set max health to 100. So to rectify that, we just switch these two. There we go. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video and would like to see more, you know what to do. And if you would like to support this channel or just want to download the project files, you can do so through my Patreon linked below.